Oh my goodness. So you guys know with the two saves that I do, I usually record about a week ahead and I record typically three episodes at a time for the entire week. So I just finished recording the third episode for this week for the Play the Kids save, which I'm having a lot of fun. You need to go check that out if you haven't. We just went to penalties, final match of the season for silverware. That episode should come out in three days, I think three days. Uh, so anyway, check that out. Oh my God, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. And I've got to jump right into recording this one. So, ah, you know, <laughs> so last episode, we got our butts handed to us with PSG. Today, we have Espanol highlights in the first division and then Rangers to see if we can get out of group stage here in the Champions League. So roll the intro and let's get into those highlights. Hey guys, RC here. This is Football Manager 21. This is our Bielsa Journeyman save. We are with our fourth club, Levante, in the Spanish First Division. And this is episode 12. So please hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Or maybe you just haven't gotten around to it. It's not even hard. Just go up there and hit the subscribe button and hit like on the video. Pretty easy. That's the only way I ask you to support the channel. And uh, hey, I do have daily football manager content here on the channel. So subscribing keeps you up to date on all that too. Let's get into the highlights. I haven't played the game yet, so let me go do that. And we'll come back with highlights against Espanol. So they are bottom of the table. Uh, we are on the attack. It's in Gonzalez. Uh, I'm sorry, Garcia flicks it to the back post. Ibanez puts it in. Gonzalez is my striker with our uh, youth challenge side. Uh, Tiverton Town. Uh, we got the uh, deflection there. Ibanez gets another touch. The keeper made a save but couldn't control it. Santine pounced on it to put us up 2-0. And it is the 82nd minute over the top. And our new striker, Corbetta, who has come off the bench, gets a goal, ends a goalless drought that he's been embedded in, going back to his previous club, I believe. Uh, let's see, it was uh, 19 matches. And I don't think he's been with us for 19 matches. Let's see. Well, we picked him up on a free last year. Yeah, so he's only played 11 this year four starts seven reserves so that goes back to his time at inter uh where he did not score very many goals uh for several seasons but again i think he's got a lot of talent and uh hopefully now that he is off the mark that will uh get his confidence back and get him going so taking a look here with the schedule that is a big win to keep our win streak going at 3 well, actually, well, three three matches unbe with uh, with wins, and then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven league matches, eight league matches uh, without a loss. So that's pretty positive. That currently has us in fourth in the table. Uh, we have played one extra game, but right now we're turning our attention to the Champions League group stage. Uh, PSG playing Club Bruges. If Club Bruges draws, we need a win. If they lose, then we can get a draw. The biggest question is, what kind of side is PSG going to put out since they've already qualified for the knockouts? We'll have to wait and see. All right. Just a reminder, we usually do play the 4-2-4 with two strikers, but Illa Marendi is still injured for two more months. Uh, with those torn knee ligaments uh, suffered against Club Bruges uh, here in the group stage. So really, Corbetta is our only other striker, and he's really good, or he has the potential to be good, but then that only leaves us Brian Ibanez. And, wow, I, he, he's looking for fitness. He's coming back from uh, injury. And, you know, we've been nursing him a lot. Uh, I think I want to bring in, uh, we're going to go with Francisco in goal, a back four of Navarro, Fernandez, Kovac, and Garay. 
Fazakas in the deep line, Martinez and Enrique in the in the top of the midfield, Mecca and Garcia, and Gonzalez at the top. So it was Gonzalez in that last highlight, and I just had a mind freeze on that. 11 goals for him in 20 starts this season. But this is a huge game. I'm hoping that with this defensive mid that it it really gives us a little bit more defensive presence. Uh, let's pump the fist. We owe Rangers. Yep, I like the revenge factor. That's kind of my go-to if it's there. All right, there's our starting 11 with the people on the bench. The Rangers, there's their starting 11 and their bench. And we are off. We're in the red and blue. There's a clearance out. Garcia runs onto it. Lots of space. He cuts inside, lays it ahead to Gonzalez, who gets on it and then crosses it. The header goes wide of the mark. Oh, that was so close. I haven't given my encouragement shout yet, so we will do that. Morrison brings the highlight for Rangers. Uh, Morrison outside, wide open, and Fernandez is beaten by Pajzadi, and he gets a free header, and Rangers are up 1-0 away. That's not a good sign. I may end up having to go back to the 4-2-4 anyway. Let's take a quick look. PSG is winning 1-0. They scored in the fourth minute. That still has us up. Rangers can't catch us. Rangers cannot catch us. I don't think. I don't think that I should have looked at that, but I don't think there's any way Rangers catch us. So we're only worried about Club Bruges. So if we're both losing, I would, I would hate to go that route, but let's encourage them again. And no, Club Bruges... This is outdated. Here's the new one. So we are actually now behind them. Uh, even with the loss, we need... Which one of these is right? I do not know. Crap. We're getting conflicting information here. Come on, SI. We shouldn't get conflicting information. Navarro beats his man. Martinez. Oh, poor pass. It's Pizjati. And he is on a breakaway. Fazekas goes behind him. Luckily, he got all ball. Francisco controls it. Kovac looks to build the attack. Oh, and that's cut off by Morrison. They're just looking the more dangerous side here. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, uh, some quick one-touch passing. Uh, Gonzalez comes back on it. And yeah, that's bad. All right, we're gonna go. All right, we're gonna go back to the four-two-four. We're gonna bring Garcia up for now. Bring Ibanez onto the pitch, and we have got to see something make a difference here. I certainly don't need to see the replay. I am not happy. Let's uh, demand more. Mecca puts it into the box. Easy save for the keeper. But at least we had a play into the box, right? That's positive. Oh, big ball out. Gonzalez is on it. Squared in. The header! And Garcia gets his fourth. And we get one back real quick. It's Levante 1, Rangers 2. And I will be happy with that. Uh, let's see. Oh, I missed it. I was trying to pause it there for us. All right. Garay tracks it down. Some good touch passing. All right. We got some space. There's Ibanez. He reverses field to Mecca. Forward to Gonzalez. Squared into Mecca. I don't know what happened there. Did he hit woodwork? I couldn't tell. All right, let's pause it real quick. PSG is beating Club Bruges. Yep, and we have dropped a third here. I think that's on goal differential. But if we both are both losing, 
They're not gaining a point on us. I don't know. Martinez plays it ahead. It's Gonzalez. Oh, what a save by Van Suriman. That should have been an equalizer goal. We do have the corner. The header goes wide. Oh, man. Couple of opportunities just go lacking for us. We just look a little, we just look more dangerous out of this tactic. Mecca crossed in. Cleared out again. Enrique tracks back. All right, our defense is postured up. Oh, there we go. Through ball to Garcia. He's on a breakaway. Oh, he rounds the keeper and just walks it in for his fifth. That's a brace today, and we are equal going into halftime. Oh, the fans have gone ape shit crazy. <laughs> and we are back up into second with the draw. Oh, I don't need this after having penalties last episode in our Play the Kids series, guys. I don't need this kind of stress. <laughs> Oh, that went off his back. Thankfully, they don't call a handball. The shot goes high. Do not give it back here right before half. Oh. Three shots, two on target, two goals. We've dominated this match. Keep playing the way you have been. The result will come. Inspired and motivated. I'm going to praise them here at the start because they did a great job coming back from a two-goal deficit. Now we just need to keep the pressure on and keep them out of the goal. Oh, what a deflection by Garay there. Good clearance up the field. Gonzalez on to it. Mecca finds him over the top, and he crosses the keeper, and that's his 12th of the season, and we have gone up. Levante. Three, Rangers two, and we're just a minute into the second half. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The three points definitely secures us. So we, we basically have a two goal advantage, the way I'm reading it, to qualify. Another through ball. It's Garcia. And he scores. That's a hat trick in, the, in this game. Sixth goal of the season. Levante four, Rangers two. Oh, I can almost let out a breath, but it's still early. We're only in the 50th minute. The header goes off the woodwork, just skips off the top of the bar. And now we're back on defense again. Uh, I thought Mecca was going to intercept that. Morrison looks good, splitting two of our defenders. And what a finish. Oh, and it's our, it's our nemesis, Josh Wheel <laughs> from Leicester. He gets Rangers back within a goal. Le Levante four, Rangers three. What a finish by Josh Wheel. Francisco looked at it and just said, I got no shot at that one, boss and just watched it go into the net. Oh, my goodness. Crossed in. The header's out. Garay, let's, uh, let's demand more. There's a layoff. Oh, too low on the cross. Enrique resets. Kovac. Over the top, it's Ibanez. Ibanez again into the side of the net. He can't cut the angle on the second effort. All right, let's... Uh, Enrique's gone red. So has Mecca. Let's bring Nadric Nass on for Mecca. And then we'll swap Nadric Nass and Ibanez. Put Ibanez back on the left side. Enrique... I've only got one guy there. It's going to be Santine. 
Now, where do I want him? Playmaker or box to box? His passing is fine. So we'll go with those two. Oh, come on. Let's praise him here. Oh, that may have come in a little early. A uh, stab away by Fernandez. He's on it. And we give it right back. And it's over the top. Garcia, can he get a fourth? He's got his fourth of the game, seventh of the season. And what a game to pull out his career game. It's Levante five, Rangers three. Oh, and to think we were down nil to two at one point. All right, let's make our final sub here. I've got two guys on the bench. I'm going to bring Fernandez out to the right. We'll switch him and Garay because Garay can play the left. And then we'll bring Guerrero on in the center. No more subs. What? What? Oh, I pulled off Fazakas early on. Oh, no. That's true. Forgot. All right, you know what? We're going to play for set pieces. We're going to slow the pace down. And let's go tempo. We will drop tempo as well. All right, out to Navarro. Oh, he picks a pass. It's Garcia again. Oh, my God, his fifth of the game. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Remember, he wouldn't have been up top if we hadn't changed tactic. And he usually isn't up top anyway. I guess he's pushing for some more playing time up top. You have to wonder how Illamirindi we'd be doing with Illamirindi here. We have a three-goal advantage, eight minutes to go. Uh, I, I just missed the score, but it looks like we're even on points, maybe? It, was I imagining that? Oh, no. They got the header that split our guys. I was worried about that. Oh, good move by Garcia. He's into the box again. Oh, he is just sick. <laughs> oh, my God. I've lost count. Is that six goals to a double hat trick? I don't even know what you call that. A double hat trick. Oh, my gosh. That's insane. Just, oh, here we go. Club Bruges is winning. An 81st minute goal. We are even on points. Possibly the 7 3, but now I think we're looking at goal differential. Um, yeah, I, yay, yay. I, I don't even know what to do here. I don't know if we're into goal differential. Nadrick Nass over the top. He's in. Oh, he dinked the keeper. <laughs> His third of the season. Oh, the keeper just was out, hung out to dry. Nand Nandrick Nass, he wasn't squaring that to anybody. He said the strikers have got enough freaking goals today. Oh, what a play. Gonzalez was there. He was wide open. The keeper went down, made himself big, but Nadrick Nass just with the dinkage. A little Peter Dinklage, as Loki likes to say, and it's 8-3 to three at full time. Wow. Six goals from Garcia. Oh, we're definitely going out. Stretched arms. You did what was needed tonight. Now let's find out if we're for sure going through to the knockouts. And we are. Oh, my God. So they won. Holy shit. So they, so Club Bruges won. We won. So we were even on points. It did. I think it came down to goal differential, and we got just enough to finish level. I think we were three goals behind them. 
and we win the head to head. Oh my God. That, that would have been so heartbreaking to win that game and then lose it on a goal differential. But we are through. There's our confirmation. We're through to the first knockout round. We get $3 million. I really don't care about the Super Cup, to be fair. Uh, I'm looking at this for fitness. Good thing is we have a break in here, so he'll only miss one game. So, yeah, we'll do that. Garcia, what the hell was that? Wow. <laughs> that was astounding. Astounding. All right. When is the next stage of this? So we go to first preliminary round? No. So it hasn't even shown up yet. Uh, what are the rules? Let's see. Okay. First knockout round. Here we go. Group stage. All right. So the first knockout round is drawn on December 15th. Let's come back because we don't have a match, I don't think. So let's come back for the draw for the first knockout round. We'll be right back for that. All right. We did have one match. Uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, we beat uh, Real, uh, Real Hispalis 4-2. to two. Ibanez and Nandrick Nass with braces in this one. Uh, very good game for us to continue our unbeaten run. But we are back for the knockout draw today. We are not seated. So I don't know what that means. Let's see. I guess there's eight seated teams and eight unseated teams. So I guess the, the seated teams can't play each other. I'm assuming that's how that works. So these would be all on one side of the draw. So we'll have to play one of these clubs. Who do we want? I don't like any of them. I certainly don't want PSG. West Brom, maybe? I'd like West Brom. Um, possibly Ghent, although I'm sure they're pretty good. No. Thank God. Oh, that's, that's probably the best news that could happen. How did they both go? Oh, Real Madrid were not ranked. Interesting. All right. PSV is the unranked. So they should get one of these clubs, right? Yep, they get Ghent. All right, here we are. So Arsenal, I don't think we want Bayern Munich. Leipzig, I'm going to say no to Barcelona. Man City, probably not. West Brom. And then we don't even get a road game to get a big gate. Of course, I mean, we are a Spanish first division side, right? This isn't the FA Cup where you want the, you know, so we'll get a lot of money, win or lose, but not the easiest match there, I suppose. And there is the list in total. So we draw Man City. It will be at home. So that'll be good. And that will rearrange our matchup with Barcelona in the league. That will come up uh, Spanish Cup. That's way down here. I think, what's the Spanish Cup look like? Reach the fourth round. I'll probably skip the third round. I'm not that interested in the Super Cup. They say it's not important. I think we get a good run of games here and come back for Valencia highlights. And... Uh, the first, well, do we do that in the first leg and then highlight second leg? Real Madrid's right there. Well, I will think about it, but I guess we come back. We'll come back for Champions League either way. I think we have to watch both legs. Maybe what I'll do is I'll split those in two. We'll do Valencia highlights. We'll watch the first, we'll play the first leg, and then we'll come back for Barcelona and, uh, highlights and the second leg, and that'll be the next two episodes. Big win here uh, in the Champions League group stage over Rangers. Uh, six goals, the double hat trick from Rafael Garcia. That might be the greatest single game performance I have ever seen in Football Manager. Maybe. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you guys next episode. Hit that like button. Subscribe for daily Football Manager content. And uh, we'll see you. Take care, guys.